Hello, today we're taking a look at IOBits Driver Booster Pro. This is a way for you to safely and quickly update your outdated drivers in one simple click. It makes it really streamlined, really easy to make sure that your PC is in tip top shape, uh, maintenance wise, gaming wise, and just overall efficiency. Now, with our link down below, you can get Driver Booster Pro for 65% off. So be sure to check out our coupon because with the free version, you can only scan your machine, but to actually apply changes, update those important drivers, you're going to need to get the Pro version and pay uh, for it. So might as well save, check out that 65% off coupon. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Driver Booster Pro. Like I mentioned here, this is the paid uh, version that I have, so it's fully uh, activated. When it comes to drivers, drivers are the way that your computer talks to the hardware. It's the um, software that you know enables your hardware to communicate with your operating system. So your hard drive has drivers, your you know graphics card, all of these things have drivers which affect performance. If those aren't updated, you're not getting the most out of your hardware essentially. Furthermore, it's not as secure. So the first thing you want to do here with Driver Booster Pro is make sure to run the scan. So you're going to go ahead and run the scan here, and this is going to scan through all of your existing hardware that's plugged in, anything from keyboards to internal machine parts, and it's going to go ahead and tell you which ones are out of date. So you can see I have 16 outdated drivers and out 8 outdated gaming components. So it's going to go ahead and show me here all the outdated hardware and give an explanation. So you can see my Bluetooth driver. Uh, drivers for my audio, so my sound card, storage cards, and then some other PCI devices here, or system devices, I should say. Um, it's also going to show you some other outdated components as far as um, software. So these are uh, software drivers that enable better performance. So you can see they're outdated here as well. It's going to show you the available version. And this saves you a ton of time versus manually having to go through, you know, different websites to get these drivers um, using different applications from your graphics card provider, etc. It does it all in one simple application and I can choose to simply update everything by clicking this update now button. But let's say I just wanted to update, for example, um, these drivers right here, so the ACH controller, I'll simply hit update here. Um, and it's going to go ahead and tell us some warnings here because some things may block it. I'm going to update the driver, it's going to install it. It's also going to create a restore point, which is important um, for the safety and security of your machine. Um, because what that will do is it'll provide you a point to back up to. So if there's any issues with the driver, it'll create that backup moment for you. Um, you can even have it automatically reboot your PC afterwards if a reboot is required. So we're going to go ahead and just let this run in the background. You can go ahead and see in the top here, you also have tabs for things like check drivers that are up to date. You can see here, just like that, the driver uh, was updated, but you have to restart to take effect. Um, you can see all your drivers that you have that are up to date. You can get more details on the driver by simply clicking on that. You also have the option to roll it back to a previous state. So let's say sometimes you update a driver and there's some sort of corruption or some sort of issues with your device. Maybe it's not you know made for um, that software or whatever. You can roll it back very easily. You can also go to the Action Center to see other tools that IOBit offers. So again, really simple, really easy, simply scan and then go ahead and look at those device drivers that you need to update. Do it all in one simple place. You can even go here and you have some other options to ignore certain updates if you don't want to update a specific driver because you know that it's stable on this release. Um, if you want to back up a driver, you can do that as well. Very, very useful and or export the list if you want to send that out. Going back here in the main interface, you have some other tabs here on the left. The first off is the rescue tab. So what this will do is allow you again to provide those driver backups. This is also really important because let's say you're making a big update to a driver and there's any sort of issues, the ability to roll back is really, really useful or back up a previous state of drivers. Maybe you're upgrading operating systems. Um, you may want to do that because that's a really, really big update and you want to make sure that if everything is working, you have that state backed up. You have the ability to restore them here in the same place. You can see you can do your driver restore so I can restore to a previous backup which was made earlier when I downloaded that driver. And you have a system restore which is even more important. So this will actually back up the current state of your OS and if for any reason something goes wrong you can revert back to that scheduled point. Now last but not least you have your tools tab. This allows you to do things like fix common errors that you may uh, get with drivers. Typically when it comes to things like there's no sound, there's no network connection, um, bad resolution, it's all due to drivers, especially if you just inserted new hardware into your computer. Maybe you bought a new graphics card, uh, a new 
um, sound card, what have you, you simply would just run one of these issues here and it's going to go ahead and detect what may be wrong with your device by scanning the drivers, making sure they're up to date. In my case, mine should be fine, so it's going to go ahead and I'll run the detection tool anyway. Um, but again, if you're not having problems, they recommend that you don't run this because, you again, if there's nothing wrong with your drivers to begin with, there's no need to be scanning them. I'm just doing this here for demo purposes. And as you can see, it confirms that my network setup is completely fine. No need to repair the driver there. Um, and then in the top left, you have the ability to go in and adjust some settings here. You can adjust the interface and how it looks. So I can go to a white background here. I can see the driver update history. I can check for updates to the driver booster app. And I can go here in the general settings, which allows me to configure more about the overall interface and drivers. I can choose where they back up to, where they get saved. Um, if you have a piece of hardware that you know needs to be on a specific version or specific driver, you can add it to the ignored list. That way driver booster never scans or never checks for updates. Maybe you just need to leave it in the state it's in. You can do that here in the ignored list. Um, lastly, the network settings here. So again, overall, when it comes to your machine and making sure that it's up to date, it's performing efficiently with the latest drivers and securely, because there's a lot of times where if you're not on the latest driver, you're susceptible to security flaws or patches or what have you. So it's important to keep up to date and to do that easily, to do that efficiently, Driver Booster packages all of that in one place. So again, don't forget to check out our link down below to get Driver Booster Pro for 65% off. And that coupon may expire at any time, so you definitely wanna take advantage of this. It's a really great piece of software to have to keep your machine running optimally. That being said, all purchases are protected by HTTPS and backed by a money guarantee. So be sure to check that out. You're safe, you're secure when you're purchasing. Again, 65% off. Check out our link below. This has been IOBits Driver Booster Pro.